Hello and welcome back everybody to Bad Time Spout B-A-A-D with me, yo pal, Farmer Bones. Hey, we got we got a new skin, we got some new fits, and it's great. Um, why? Because in this episode today, we're going to be building up a barn to continue our little country, country, uh, uh, can you move please, Nugget? Thank you. Um, <laughs> last episode, we built up this, this house, um, and... Hope you enjoyed the intro. Me and Nugget have been racing around all morning. How about we hop on? Nugget and I have been racing around all morning collecting up a whole bunch of resources for today's build. But let's just take a moment really quick to uh, admire what we got done last episode. Cool, that's enough. <laughs> we have done a little bit of interior design. Mel is working very hard getting all that together and we will check it out later on. But for today's video, we are building up a barn which will become a storage, a storage place? Storage house? Room? House? This is the spot here. Um, we need storage because we've got a lot of chests around. Like here, and here, and here, and here still, and more here, and here, and, and there's just so many. We've got a lot of chests. Um, but before I can do that, my tools are very, very broken. We need to go fix those up. Um, and we need to sleep. All done. Time lapse. Alright guys, so, just got to clear up a bit of creepy damage. Um, so, there it is, uh, our, our storage at barn. Way a lot of progress to go, way not done. But here we are, I thought I'd pop in and show this, hope you like that. Some unfortunate news though, I had my first death of the series. I was building up the top, um, I was, <laughs> I was trying to put the, you might have even seen it, I was trying to put the, uh, the, uh, thing, the things, the white things. <laughs> the the bits in the top and I um I was like shifting and I thought I was doing right and then I just fell and because I was on so many low hearts just didn't work out and I just went splat and lost my life but here it is um I've started detailing out the edges and I started doing a bit as I was going around it's not something I normally do but we've got that we've got this big sliding door going in um with these these uh what are these stone cutters making it look like it rolls um, and then we've got a winch going up there, which is pulling some hay up into maybe like a store. Now, obviously the roof's not on, so we've still got to do the roof and we've got to detail out um, all the sides. But here's some of the things that I'm doing, and I thought I'd just bring you in to sort of show some of the detailing process. So this is this bottom half is, is built out of cobblestone and andesite, and that makes its way up. Uh, and then the top part will be uh, terracotta and granite. Um, and I'm still yet to sort of detail that area and add a bit of texture. I've started a little bit, but heaps to go. Uh, 
what you can do if you haven't doing, done this before is if you want something to look a little bit old and broken down and you can do this with planks as well is um, coming in and just breaking out a few blocks like so and then taking your stairs and placing them in and it kind of looks like uh, you know bricks are missing or blocks are sort of crumbling away and depending on how you do them so this one is upside down and that one's normal I could put this one in um, upside down and this one in the right oh, the right way up there we go and the you know it's now it's closer together so you can kind of get different levels of separation but that is where we're at so far this has been our little ladder to get up the side I've fallen off here I don't know how many times absolutely terrible but yeah this is going fantastic I'm really cannot wait to get it done it's gonna be great it's so big we're gonna have to have multiple floors and what I want to do as well and what we can come back in later is I want to extend this side out extend it out here and maybe turn it into a bit of a stables because we've got nugget nugget and we've got a bunch of other horses around there's so many horses in this area for some reason I don't know how horses work but right so I talk about horses and all of a sudden they're gone oh here's here's one <laughs> and this one so yeah there's, there's quite a few horses roaming you know there's another one roaming around this area um but yeah there it is no roof let's get the roof on then we'll bring it back in and see how it's going all right everyone how you doing we're back so it's been about a week <laughs> since we finished um, recording up some the last clips mel and myself have had a whole lot of life going on but it's well everything is great and uh, we're just so excited to be making these videos but let's flip around and take a look at the shed progress so far and there it is what do you reckon it's not it's not bad this could be better but don't tell anyone but i accidentally built that one block too high but uh you couldn't tell right right so i've added a stable oh the sun's going down um i've added the stables on the side and i've done a bunch of terraforming i love terraforming and i've got some great ideas to expand this place out make it really cool but um there is nothing going on in the inside at the moment i lied there's a little bit going on the exposure is coming back up. So I've started laying out some of the framing in here, as you can see. Um, it's going to be going all the way up, and we're going to fill it with chests and stuff. And all of our things, all of our items, all of our worldly possessions will be stored in here, and it'll be great. Oh, my eyes. In here, though, is where we're keeping all the horsies. Here is Nugget. Say hi, Nugget. Okay. Uh, and in here... Is it random horse? It's, I don't know who that is. If you got a name, check your names down in the comments. Definitely looking for some, some, some suggestions. Haven't finished, but it's coming along nicely. Um, yeah, so I guess, yeah, since since the last clips, we've done all this off camera. Um, and I'm, I'm very happy. For this, we just used spruce and some oak. And together, that's kind of a nice texture. I'm into it. And then these buttons don't do anything, but they act as kind of like, um, like, I don't know, like nails, not nails. Do you know what I mean? Like you poke the wood through, there's probably a name for it. And what I want to do for the rest of the episode, because we're going to try to get this out. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a shorter one because I've been real busy and just for the sake of getting things done, we're going to just chuck, chuck this out as it is. But okay, let's sleep real quick. So the, this, what is this? I built up a bit of a wall. The dirt came, the, actually, the dirt actually came up to like about here. So I've dug it all the way back to here and it's just acting as a little bit of a pathway because if you don't want to come into the stables, you can go around the whole, the whole farm barn shed. And um, this brings me to my next point, which is beautiful sunrises. If you like the sunrise, rate it out of 10 jokes. What I want to do is build some roads and some pathways because if you haven't realized... I haven't even realized it just sort of happened, but <laughs> we have a big country villa here and we have a country barn. And I think myself and Mel are actually for our base here are going to start building up a little bit of a countryside experience. And so we're going to have some farms, we're going to have a chicken coop, we're going to have the barn and then some silos and some fields and all of that kind of good farmy stuff. We both grew up in the country. Um, and so 
we're very fond of the country. But yeah, so if you've got any ideas for what we could do in that space, I just realized I'm carrying my bed around. That's a bit random. <laughs> Swords are probably a bit more appropriate rather than a little bed. But yeah, comment down below any ideas you have for our farm, what we can add, what we could take away even, this hill. If you don't like it, say goodbye hill and then we'll get rid of the hill. Easy as that, all this grass, let's get rid of it now. Um, for the rest of the episode, what I want to do is lay out some of the roads. We are now inside the house looking at the wall. We're not going to turn around because that'll give too much away. We're going to look at the interior next episode. As I just said, Mel and myself have been real busy and so we want to finish this off and make it look real good. We're almost there, but not quite. Um, here's a little sneak peek though. So we've got these two maps. This one is locked in. The deal is sealed. The contract is signed. Digital or analog neither of us know so the progress is very minimal but we can kind of see the area and what we've done so far this map over here is going to be the ones that we update as we go as you can see we've got the barn there stuff happening around it and all these plains biomes this square beautiful square and a village right here and so yeah what we're going to do is we're going to take this white concrete in my hand and we're going to draw out some paths and then hopefully we can see how it all flows together and if it's going to work what I'm thinking is we um, maybe have something that goes from the farm through here around to the front and then comes across here. Maybe does a bit of a loop around into the village. And we can obviously go off down here and into the void. We can go wherever we want, but for now I think that might just tie it all together. Let's have it, let's check it out. Oh, come on, Paco Champion. Does anyone else do this? You like lay out a pathway and then you just jump along? Now, how does that look? Uh, I'll take this guy, put him back. All right. That was way less effective than I thought it would be. How can we cut? No way, we can... Why can't we see it? Did I hide it all in the trees somehow on accident? Uh, anyway, you can kind of see... That's quite cool. I think it's all right. When we get a bridge across here, it'll look epic. I definitely think this would look really cool as well if we decorate out the lake and do some really cool like cliff sides and um, get some boats going. I really want to do something cool with the river. If you have any ideas, let me know. But I'm, I, I really want to do some cool cliffs and just real beautiful um, sort of terrain stuff. I really want to go out this way actually and have more just stuff I don't know yet actually in fact Mel and I have built a project room with our project board on it and so we'll show you that next episode and we're gonna get um, a whole bunch of stuff um, loaded up onto the project board that we're gonna tackle all right everyone that is gonna be it for today's episode thanks so much for watching we really appreciate it for everyone that sort of um, subscribed to the channel recently or commented and liked and watched our videos um, it means so much. It's really cool. We're really um, having so much fun making these videos. And so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That is it for today's episode though. So thank you so much for watching. If you're brand new, please subscribe or, or like or comment or whatever you want, you know, or don't do any of those things. That's totally cool too. Um, <laughs> next episode, we're going to try to get back into it with some more terraforming and landscaping. We've even got a couple more cool build ideas. Um, so for more bad times, check back in here uh, next time. See you later. Yeah.